Yes. Me? Shoot, I was out of motion. I was just trying to hang on. They were running pretty good, you know. Um, you know, they looked really good, and I was just trying to fit in, you know. Um, they played extremely well, you know, even though I shot the ball better than last game. But uh, I'm going to keep going until I get used to this place. Michael, is it encouraging the fact that you guys have won 6 0, but you also know that you can play much better as a team? Well, I think that's, uh, that's probably a positive thing that we take from this is that, you know, I haven't really been able to contribute, you know, consistently offensively uh, in terms of my shooting, but everyone's kind of chipped in and, and, and stepped up and covered that loophole. And, uh, you know, we've been able to win and win ugly some games, some games we just win, you know, and I think that still shows a sign of a better team, you know, uh, when you can win games that you really don't look good. What do you Mike, think it's going to take for you to start shooting better in this place, just the more you play here? I, I think it's just uh, a better, a more relaxed attitude from my point of view. I mean, uh, quite naturally, I'm putting a little addition, a little pressure on myself, just trying to want to come out and, and shoot better here. And I mean, that's just a natural tendency until I relax and just uh, you know, let the thing happen, then, you know, it's going to be like this. And uh, <clears throat> I think it's going to happen sooner or later. What about rebounding? You guys uh, come up tonight and out-rebound the Cleveland Cavaliers. It seems as though you guys are starting to do a lot better job on the boards here lately. Well, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's a conscious effort from my standpoint is that, you know, when I'm not shooting good, I like to do other things and, and really make, make myself and my presence felt. Uh, so uh, doing the shooting slump, if you want to call it that, I've been able to help out on the boards, pass the ball around, you know, do whatever I had to do. I think we are trying to make a conscious effort to, uh, you know, pick up that rebounding uh, effort from everybody. Michael, well, you passed the, first the ball time really Chicago, well on that really fast break. Fun. You know, the one where you hit Ku Coach on that play. You guys sure. showed signs of how you can really play together. Yeah, I mean, we we just got to understand each other. I think we we both understand the game, you know, uh, but. I think just by playing with each other, we understand certain passes, certain things that, you know, just come with time, you know. Uh, I know it's a lot of expectations of us all playing together, but, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight. Michael, defensively, is this team slowly moving to where you want to see it at to come playoff time? Yeah, we're slowly moving that way. I mean, uh, I don't think we're there, but we're moving in that direction, yes. Was tonight the first night you really felt in the flow? Relax, so to speak. It seemed like you were having fun out there in this building. Well, I'm trying to laugh it off. You know, I'm trying to laugh off because I'm trying to play better. I, I'm shoot the ball better, if anything. But uh, I think you have to smile when the team is playing well. You know, BJ played extremely well. Scotty played well. Tony played well. You know, so that that's good. You know, that I'm not a bad influence on everybody else. Michael Luke actually caught a couple of your passes. Yeah, he's he's starting to learn a little bit. You know, if he he only had a few more to drop before he didn't get any more. You're probably not looking forward to playing in Cleveland. Here's a stadium that you haven't even played in yet, and. Uh, you said before that you don't like going to the places where you haven't played. Well, <laughs> anywhere is better than here right now. You know, where I've been shooting in this building, but uh, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting. I, I can't really worry about the building. I got to worry about the team. I got to worry about myself and, and, and fitting into that. You know, um, you know I don't want to put too much emphasis on it. You know, you put too much emphasis on it, it just carries over from day to day, and uh, you just have to let it go and, and ease your way back into. It. You know, what makes you comfortable. If you guys win on Sunday, does that pretty much put the Cavs away from uh, worry when you talk about that fifth spot? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, we, we control the series between the two of us, you know, but we still have, what, six games left, so anything can happen. So, you know, we don't want to give up, you know, just because we beat Cleveland. I think we want to finish off the season strong. You know, we're still trying to work on ourselves, getting better, you know. So beating Cleveland on Sunday, if we beat Cleveland on Sunday, that doesn't really give us room to relax and forget about, you know, what we're trying to achieve, which is get better as we go down to the playoffs. Well, Charlotte, though, you guys came in four and a half games back of Charlotte. Are you guys trying to catch those before, catch those guys before the end of the season? It'll be tough. Yeah, I mean, it'll be tough. Uh, you know, they really got to fall apart, and we got to win the rest of our game. So, you know, you can't say it's, it, it, you can't say never, you know, but, <laughs> you know, I think uh, we just kind of have to concentrate on game by game, and, you know, if we end up that way, then great. Yeah, either way, we're going to be playing Charlotte, so, you know, he's just swapping the home court advantage. I don't know if that's in our best interest the way I'm shooting. <laughs> Michael, aside from the obvious in the six-game winning streak, uh, what has pleased you most about what you're seeing from your teammates at this juncture in your return? Well, I'm struggling trying to fit in, but yet we're still winning ball games. You know, they've been able to compensate where, you know, let's say the team is, you know, I haven't been able to produce 
you know, and, and the other players have stepped up. I mean, I think you, you've seen the maturity of Scotty Pippen, first of all, and you've seen the maturity of uh, uh, B.J. Armstrong and Will Purdue. I mean, you know, that's, a, that's very evident, you know, uh, because of the success of this team. And I don't think it's because of me. I think it's because of those guys. I think that's very evident. And I think, you know, once I get myself together, then, you know, I can blend right into those guys. Scotty's play really sticking out. He's, he's playing well. I mean, he's... He's playing like one of the top players in this league, and uh, I'm very proud of him in that way.